Hi there and welcome to Bustanet. Yes, these are the Kingstonian Diaries. Um, and interestingly enough, what I'm going to do is I'm focusing on the safe. And you want to know why? Well, I mean, you guys, if you watch the Liverpool or the Ajax Diaries, it's win, win, win most of the time, right? But with the Kingstonian Diaries, it's a lot more different. It's like a lower league safe where you try to bring a club through the tiers. This is a defuse challenge with strict rules in place. Uh, I got no badges, that kind of thing. And um, the club becomes very hard. It, the challenge becomes very hard when you take a club with a low, low reputation, low starting rate. Like Kingstonians have a very low starting reputation, which makes it very hard for you to sign players. Now, in previous editions of this game, it was really easy because I could scout players who had a... There were players out there who were good, who had a low reputation, so you could actually bring them in. Now, the scouting system in FM18 is different. And it's made it even harder for me to attract these players. I mean, I could get players from Sassuolo to come and play for me, for Kevin's sake, in first season in the Premiership. And these were good players. Uh, I could get free signings. I mean, if you guys remember, I had Premiership players who would uh, come to our club. Now, nobody wants to come to my club. Okay, challenge one. Okay, the second thing I would I used to do in FM 16, 17, it was, uh, you know, it's really easy for me to tactically switch things around. So I used to change tactics on the fly. People used to, but what's the point? You know, you guys don't see it. There's a big disconnect between you and me. And you probably are wondering, okay, he's got this four game winning run. He must have used a different tactic because I'm not being consistent. And to be fair, I didn't like that. So I wanted to use a tactic you guys would know that I'm using. And I've been using Hadrian's wall and um, the four, five, the four, one, two, two, four, four, one, two, three. But the team hasn't really been playing very well. Uh, and uh, we had to, we had 18 million. We went out, we signed the players, uh, but our results weren't so fantastic. We went from 14 to 15. So we, I, for the first time ever, I've actually fallen one rung lower. <laughs> and I was stunned. So I got so mad with the team that I started throwing the boot. And I went and um, decided I had to do something about the club. Okay, before I, before I, Turn to this page. Let's just bear one thing in mind. We're a small club and I haven't gotten very high up the table, but we, we have a fifth deficit of 53 million in our operating expenses for the club, in net position, net financial position. So this is down to the fact that I had 80 million last season. I used most of it for the transfer fees. If I look through the whole club, I'll, I'll, I'll see that. So it's not so bad. But this came from basically my transfer market strategy. So now, I've had to take a step back because if I'm not going to get into the Champions League this season or in Europe this season, then I have to play smart. And I have to go back to basics, which is when you go into the transfer, transfer market, don't overspend. So 33 million on a defender is a stupid move. And I did that last season and it kind of cost me this season. So uh, while we strengthen certain areas of the pitch, that's not going to work. That's the first thing. Secondly, I had to go through my team there are two positions on the pitch that were really being an issue for me. One was the heart of defence because I had Laurel and Hardy defending the, for the team. Okay, So I had Johnny Byrne and Stefan O'Connor. Okay. Problem for Johnny Byrne is Johnny Byrne isn't exactly, he's a real person, so I really apologise if you're actually watching the show. If you, if you are, then this is so cool. But seriously, low anticipation, low composure, low concentration, low decisions makes for a very bad combination for a defender who is may not be in the right place most of the time. Combine that with first touch, we've got a really lethal combination here. So if I look at the scout reports, even the scout reports, they're like, you know, please, you know, it's 36. By my standards, I only signed 60, right? So Johnny Byrne is out. So if I when I toss Johnny Byrne out there, Johnny Byrne comes back as a 36 now. So it's uh, even the scouts. So we let Johnny Byrne go. On top of that, I started letting other players go, like Osman Busaid, Jacob, D Jacob D Davenport. Um, in the process of doing this, I lost the dressing room. So players like um, Johnny Byrne, who's the captain of the team, I've let him go. Stefan O'Connor immediately handed in his transfer request. I was like, huh, what? And, th and as a, the combination was terrible because now the social groups, the core social group here, the team leaders are Jack Price, Patricio and Pope. Pope is now one of the leaders. Cummings, Higgins and Evran Karadanis. Uh, but I have no players that are supporting me anymore. The happiness in the club is shot to hell because uh, 
we've got players like uh, why where is he? My central defender. The other central, he's worried about being replaced, so he's very very unhappy. He's taken it out. He's he's uh, uh, he's gone out and 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 basically criticized me in public. <laughs> so I'm like, I've got this other guy, Stefan O'Connor, who's devastated with the club because he's love he's he's you know he's he's in love with Johnny Byrne they have a love relationship I don't I can't explain this is Stefan O'Connor and and Johnny Byrne were Laurel and Hardy so I split the pair up they do not like to be split up and I want him to stay he's he wants to leave because he's got a lack of playing time that's the reason why he really wants to leave so he, I can see this from here all right so it's not really the management he so I am going to try and have to play him a lot more regularly Stephen O'Connor is a lot better than Johnny Bird. However, still, you know, you know, he still doesn't fit the mold. But he's still a better... He's, he, he can combine with Pavel Boshnovic. So he's going to become a rotation player. We signed Eric Palmer-Brown. Uh, this guy was really cheap. So when I went into the transfer market, my strategy now was very different. Because here we have a club that's down 40 million from last season. So I can't go out there and spend anymore. So the bigger signing was this guy. Eric Palmer Brown, 9 million, and that's it. I'm not spending more money. Uh, his jumping reach is 15. His bravery is a bit low. I'm going to try and stick him in midfield. His uh, tackling is half decent. Uh, he's, and he's, uh, he's, uh, he's like the one of the best players I could sign from Fulham. Uh, for other from Swansea, who got relegated. And from Fulham, who uh, in the championship, we signed this fullback. So we're hoping that he adds an element. Uh, he adds something to... What Daniels is because it's Daniels to say in him, and uh, not too good. And then we also signed another fullback. I've got so many fullbacks right now. I've got this guy on the right because we 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 gotta play a certain way now, and uh, so these are the only players I've signed. The squad, the, the the dynamics is fractured. The team does not like me. I could hold a team meeting, but you know, they all want to leave. Uh, yeah, and. I am Bahuli is gonna go. I mean, I already told him I don't need you. I'm like really pissed off. He doesn't really. Act. I mean, he can still play for me. That's that's for sure. Uh, I put him on a transfer list, but there is this guy can still play a part in the game because uh, what we also have to do is look at the look at the preseason. So in preseason, what I normally do in preseason is I try to <laughs> come up with a tactical system for my team. We've lost all the games because I've been messing about. I've been trying different things. So I tried different things in different matches. So I tried one tactic here. I tried to play the diff play the different tactic here. So I've, I against Dinamo Zagreb, actually we played our... This was our best game. Unfortunately for us, we didn't win. So I've I've now, you know, at, a st at the beginning of last season, I wasn't very sure how I was going to play, right? So this season, we are going to play... A combination of probably three tactics. I'm probably not going to go to this. This is my sledgehammer tactic, and I still don't believe you can do a four-three-three. So we got this system called the Leatherheads, right? Kingstonian Leatherheads. Uh, this is partly inspired by the Red Faro tactic that Liverpool uses. Same principles, uh, except that here this guy is going to be more of a support duty, and then I'm going to get this guy. Bob. This is the reason why I'm looking at three right backs for this position. I'm going to get a lot of injuries from here because these boys are just going to get, they're going to lose their, yeah, they're just going to be in trouble. And then I've got my other tactic here called, um, this is the Knight's Bridge tactic that I've created for, for them, where here on the other hand, we've actually got a wing back that's going to bomb down the left. So it's a slightly different tactic. So essentially, all three tactics are similar. So it's not going to cost me very much. So these are the, these are like the tactics I'll be using with my team this season. And I'm hoping that we do okay. Because at the moment, I've only got one game left. And this is the last preseason match. And then the transfer window closes. And we can't sign any more players. There's no point. And I'm just hoping that after this preseason match, I just don't lose my last preseason match. Because I've, I've lost nearly every single preseason match that I've had to play. And our last preseason match is against some. Um, some punching back team. <laughs> That's it. The the first six preseason matches were all against similar reputation clubs because I needed to know how what I could use with my team. And I've 
And we've already sorted it out. We've settled on a tactical plan for next season. So our first home game is going to be against Brighton. Okay, so... Uh, so we had a pre-season... Well, our last pre-season match was basically punching back time. Uh, so we... We wall up one team, 15-0. Uh, but I don't... So this has given a slight boost to the morale of the team. So we've got excellent from all the big goal scorers. So that's all you really... I mean, you have two is better, but one is generally enough. So I've got morale all boosted up after a terrible, terrible start to preseason. I mean, unhappy, morale was really low. I had some abysmal as I poor but here Stefan O'Connor is still poor he's wanted by some clubs he's wanted by Sunderland so there's still a hope that I can you know if he wants to go we can, he can go because at the back uh, O'Connor is okay but the first choice pairing is always going to be um, Eric Palmer Brown and uh, Pavel Boshnovich. Swallow can also play so it, I'm in a very not in a bad position right so the team so for our first game against the we we have a match to be played right against uh, what's that team brighton now brighton and us well it's been really hard for me to beat brighton so the last time we beat brighton was actually in the Carabao cup uh, we had to take it to extra time so they're going to be playing control fluid inside for a winger that means they're punching through my um my left flank so my left flank might be vulnerable here but they've left a gap on their right flank from what i can see a roaming playmaker is going to be moving here so they've got two roaming uh roles in the middle roaming playmaker and box to box midfielder and uh they got a full back who's who looks like he's going to be a bit more attacking so there might be some gaps on the right hand side of the pitch we'll have palmer brown uh, who is now a defend central defender, the American. I'm pushing him into midfield. He's a key player, so I'm going to have to try and find new positions for him all the time. Uh, we've got Sase on the right flank, Gunosh, Cummings, Karadanis, Car and Higgins. Basically, there's a lot of players from last season. <laughs> okay, so there's been no reshuffling. Let's go and get a whole new bunch of players now. That has not been happening. So this is going to be a big test for us. And today's show is a pretty long show because... Um, for me, I think it's more interesting than um, some of the other stuff that I've been doing, which is like with Kingstonian and the Cop Diaries, uh, with uh, IX and the Cop Diaries. All right, here we go. It's the first match of the season. Kingstonian against Brighton. Kingstonian at home. We've moved back to Selhurst Park because they're expanding our current stadium. I don't know if uh, it's going to come. It's going to be... Isn't it? 17,000 seats. Okay, here we go. Sase with the throw to Palmer Brown. Sase plays it back to Higgins. Higgins is uh, they've taken the ball off him. We have a corner kick. Everything has been... We've paid a lot of attention to our set pieces as well. Cummings to Higgins. Higgins out wide. He's going to come inside the box. He's going to take a shot. No, he plays it out to Cummings again. Cummings back to Karadanis to Higgins. Good. Keep possession of the ball, boys. Palmer Brown back with Pontiso, the right, the, both of them the right players at the back. Gunosh to ring, ring back to Pontiso, Pontiso to Cummings. Ah, that was a horrible pass. Uh, Herrera to Sa. The only thing is, I don't really have a fantastic playmaker. Oh, what a save from Murich. Muric is our new keeper. He's going to start most of our games. Even though Rui Patricio is the captain, well, you're going to have to give way to a youngster every now and then. So we've got four going back for the ball. So that's Sadio Mane playing for Brighton, but a uh, very poor cross from him. It's a save with the throw. Plays it to Palmer Brown. Palmer Brown holds the ball really well. Ring back to Higgins. It's good football inside the box. Come on, boys. We've been working on this in preseason. You screwed things up in preseason for a reason. Okay, looking, I'm not too unhappy with the way we're playing. The transitions uh, so far, I haven't yet to see a transition involving us from defense to attack. But defensive transitions look okay. Now is our first corner to defend. This as well as I've changed my corner routines. Yes, you notice two players up top. That's what a counter. Higgins is away. Higgins, yeah. It might work. So it's a new corner routine as well. <laughs> Set piece routines. All of them have been redesigned slightly. 
Karadenis is going to they taken it off going Osh. We could have scored with that. Sase beats. Yes. The boy has got the acceleration, but can he deliver across? He gets it to Higgins. It's it's gonna be Pontiso. He misses an open goal. Oh, Pontiso missed an open goal. We almost had that. Sadio Mane. We wanna win, boys. We wanna win in style. For once in my bloody life, we can store it. Can you give this to me? Come on, we need a win. I need a, I have a fractured dressing room to repair. Cummings caused by my anger. Cummings is the only missing link. But I don't I do not want to go out there and buy players. We could have had a we could have had a, a playmaker in the form of O'Donnell, but I loaned him out because uh, I've got so many strikers. I've got Cummings, Phelan, uh, Callum Higgins, uh, Evan Brun. I almost bought a Chinese striker by the name of Wang Ziwei. And I decided, okay, wait, wait, hang on a minute. I can't I can't go out there and just keep buying strikers if I'm not going to use them. Evan Karadenis, I have such high hopes. He wants to win silverware this season. If we don't, he is going to be unhappy. Good movement. Good at way of attacking. That is what I want to see in my transitions. All right, Higgins. Higgins into the box. Uh, read the game. Read the game. No, he does not. Shit, who's that? 15. 15 should be Eric Palmer Brown. He, you, you, I paid so much money for you. Come on, 7 million. <laughs> Push the witch with the great reading of the game. Plays it out to Higgins. Higgins now on the counter. Does brilliantly. Finds Evran Karadenis. But he has to hold the ball up. That smart play from the deep line forward and support. The next Bobby Firmino. We had been training him for two seasons to be the next Bobby Firmino. <laughs> it's taken me a long time. He's not a captain, Evran Karadenis. I thought the captain, oh yeah, in the absence of Rui Patricio and Jack Price, he becomes the captain. Oh my goodness. Good football. It's, uh, who's this? Cummings. Oh, uh, Hendrik out wide crossing. Palmer Brown does brilliantly. Gets the ball away from danger. This is on site, but he's going to smash that wide. Okay, so far, so good. Kingstonian, zero. Brighton, zero. We've had one good chance. The boys are controlling this game. It's quietly optimistic. But I don't want to be super optimistic anymore because last season, optimism killed me. Evran Karadenis, he's working. I've told him there's one area of his game he's got to add something to. He's finishing. I'm far from pleased, boys. Let's go out there. We have it in the tank. Gwenosh. Gwenosh to Pontiso. So, okay. Who can I bring on? Is Jack Price available? Jack Price is available. He's off the ball. He's 11. He's passing. His vision is only 11. His concentration. He might come on for Pontiso. Pontiso scores! <laughs> and I was just talking about taking off Pontiso. Pontiso heard me from the sidelines. He saw Jack Price warming up and he knew he had to score. Jack Pontiso stakes a claim oh, he's, and this Bamba is a player I wanted to sign you know how much Brighton quoted him 70 freaking million pounds for him as a keeper okay I was about to throw something at my monitor I really was about to throw something at my monitor I was picking something up to smash my monitor because we have considered a goal straight off the after taking the lead damn it everyone you drop in for Jason Cummings. He's not having a good game. Uh, Ashley Pope, you go up top for... That's one option. All right. I could bring Damien Phelan on, but Bushnevich is injured. Unbelievable. The main man has gone down. He's been complaining that he might not get a chance to play for the club. Yes, she. Yes, she. You don't complain, boy. Because you do not know if you're going to be around to play the game. You understand that, Bushnevich? You shouldn't have made, moaned and groaned about this shit. Okay, the injury means that the uh, substitution is not kicking in. Evran Karadenis is still the deep line playmaker on support. I'm going to move him here. Alternatively... I'm going to change him and bring on this guy for him. Alright, we're going to put Jack Price up there. 
Cummings plays Evran Karadiniz on. Evran Karadiniz with the ball. Goes wide. Come on, guys. We want to win a game. Ring. Cummings. O'Connor, get there. And this is Di Maria. Di Maria is playing for Brighton. Dear Lord, what the hell is going on in this league called the English Premier League? And Higgins is away. Higgins goes out. Higgins going to cross the ball. It's Evran Karadiniz. Scores. Scores. Yes, it's 2-1. <laughs> on the counter. They have... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ring with a great ball for Higgins. Higgins took it down well. Karadiniz needs easy chances and we gave him one. <laughs> he needs easy chances. Uh, proceed with the tactical changes after the goal. Yes, we will. Because now Kara goes to the... He stays up there. We're going to bring Price up the hole. Make the left flank a bit more stronger as well. Because Price is not a bad option on the left flank because he tackles. He's got... He's a tackler up there. Sadio Mane plays it out. And it's Sase. Sase wins the intercepts that Higgins is away. Higgins goes out. Ah, but did he, did he, did he, did he, Callum Higgins makes a terrible pass. It's Oliveira. It's Engel Di Maria. He misses the shot. Kingstonian. Can they win their first opening match of the season ever? And not be in the bottom half of the table. <laughs> For the first time in three, in two seasons, in three seasons, is it gonna be today? Will today be the day that Kingstonian are not in the bottom half for the first time ever on opening day? We're gonna celebrate in style. I went from a moment where I was about to smash the monitor to utter exuberance. Quinoche reads the ball. Come on, boys, you are gonna do this. You're gonna beat Brighton for the first time in. In your history, in open play. Oh my goodness, are we about to do it? It's all over, we've done it. We've beaten Brighton for the first time ever in open play. This is a momentous occasion. Well done, lads. That was a good win. Nobody expected it. We came, they came to our house and we just gave them one. Oh, this is a great start to the season. Kingstonian is out for three weeks. I'm not gonna say anything. That's it. Okay, I'm. I should take a snapshot of this, but it's not gonna last long. We we'll have to see how. <laughs> this is the part I want to see where have we ended up, because we gotta give the other clubs a chance to play. Kingstonian have done it. We have. Uh, we've climbed to the top half of the table. Let's see how how high up the table we're gonna be, because this is gonna be a new record. If it's anything better than twelve, it's the best position we've ever been in. So we need, I don't want more than 12 teams winning. So we got our next match is going to be against Brighton. What a... Callum Higgins and Evren Karadeniz. We're going to have to use them. It's not a mis mystery for me. It's the AP position on the left. And we actually have a player who I want to sell off who can actually play in that position. And his name is Bahuli. Bahuli, who's been like... I, I don't even know whether he's registered. Yeah, but we have we have time to take one of the players off the registration list and put him on. That gives me another option. And Bahuli can play. Because I kind of thought he could be a playmaker. Alright, so we've done it. It's uh, we got Everton and Spurs left. So we'll wait for Everton and Spurs to be done. And with all the results played, for the first time in the history of the club, the highest position, 7th. Yes, we have finally won an opening day match. Schedule. I don't know if I've done it before. Uh, 2000, yes, our first season in the Premiership, we drew away to Derby County. I mean, we had such a good pre-season as well, but we came, you know, we played like dog shit after that. Second Premiership season, we drew at home to Swansea. And now, for the first time ever, we have won on opening day. <laughs> I'm so happy. I mean, um, you know, what has it done anything for the dynamics? The atmosphere in the dressing room is good now. We have turned things around. It was a fractured dressing room. Players wanted to leave. Players were unhappy. And we only now have two players who are unhappy in the dressing room. Um, be, and most of the other players are now happier. They, they, they see a light at the end of the tunnel. And all I did was 
lose every single preseason game to figure out how they could play. Now the question remains, will we be able to make it two wins on the trot? And the, the goal here is very simple. It's this tactic and this tactic. These are the two systems. I mean, the sledgehammer is there for a reason because once in a while I might get bored and I want to see if this works. But even this... I'm not too confident with this tactic. Seriously, I'd rather play this and this. I have another tactic, which is a 4-3-3, which is a bit more defensive in orientation. It only really has one advance forward charging through with two DLFSs, uh, feeding him with balls. Uh, but still, this is a much better counter-attacking system. Boshnovich is now injured. Number one central defender who's jumping in is seven. He has taken a knock, so he won't be... He won't be able to play. That means that we have to think about Stefan O'Connor stepping in. Haha, <laughs> he's got a chance to play as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Kingstonian Diaries. We have uh, kind of uh, snapped our run in a manner of speaking. Uh, we finally won on opening day. And we finally gotten ourselves into a position where maybe there's some hope for us. Could the third season be our lucky season? Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Kingstonian Diaries. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Kingstonian Diaries. We finally, finally, finally won on opening day. I'm so happy. I went from about to smash the monitor with something in, I was holding in my hand. And, uh, and then it's a, I mean, wow, north. I went from North Pole to South Pole. If you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustin or addicted to fm.com, my website. Once again, I'd like to thank you for tuning in and supporting the channel. You guys take care, have a good one. And to all my patrons, you are a cool group. You take care. I'll see you again soon.